Hello everybody, Mike here with Flipping Goodies. Today is Tuesday. We're down at the locker and I left my phone at the house. That's not good. So, I want to show you all what it looks like after File 99, the video we did yesterday, happens. Okay? So, up top, so like I said, I can stack them one, two, three, four, five. This is six high. Uh, these are a little bit higher end, so that's my baby right now. That Panasonic. And then we got that there. So I still have, that's personal. That's for our house. So I should, probably should put that way in the corner somewhere, but for now it's fine there. So I gotta get rid of, this is going, um, that is sold there, right there, that's sold. So we'll get rid of that Technics, hopefully when I get back from my cruise, but we shall see. Now, let's get to today's video, which is sourcing, selling shipping golf clubs now i do not recommend picking these up on the regular but it was ten dollars at a garage sale for all of them okay and it came with a putter this set and it had the bag but the bag was a little too rough for me i don't particularly care for that so with that it sold for $129 and $19.99 shipping. So we'll do this in two parts. We'll get this out to the car. The car. Which I didn't park too far. Yeah. It was a Jaws marathon this weekend. So if you know Jaws, you know that line. If you don't know Jaws, you don't know that line. So let's get her popped and put her away. All right, so four, four woods, which one's gonna be like a hybrid. And then we have so, so many more. I think it's like 14 clubs total. Let's see, four, right? How many clubs total? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven clubs total. So, let's see. Hard to do this one handed. So hard. So, let's see if we can get all of these out to the car at one time. And then, when I get back from vacation, it's time to get my eBay back in gear. I have my Walmart running pretty smoothly. So I'm real happy with that. Um, so we're going to concentrate mostly on eBay. Get our numbers back to where they used to be. I just shipped a whole bunch of stuff into Walmart, which alleviates some of my pain at the house of packing. So, next time you see this locker, <clears throat> hopefully, well, probably not the next time, but one of these times when you see the locker, hold on one second. Okay, so when we get back, or well, one of these days, these two shelves here, one, two, three, four, five will be what you see on it will not be on it okay and then what will be on it is all this stuff now these are getting tick tockety close to being file 99 this shelf right here is all this x10 the problem is it wasn't three days ago i sold 90 dollars worth of this stuff on amazon so it's like 
Every time I turn around to get rid of it, it sells. So right now we're going to hold off. I'll move it over here. I'll probably top shelf everything. Um, and then I will sell this. See, I'm debating what to do on this one. I'm either going to sell this rack here. I should easily get $100 for a rack like this. Uh, it's in really good condition. I don't see why I wouldn't get $100. But I'll take $75 if somebody offered it. It's pretty high. And it's four feet wide. And what is that? A foot and a half, maybe? Deep? So not a bad shelving unit. Or I could sell that one which is holding all my records and stereo equipment, golf bags. I have had that one for a long time, but this I could probably, I should be able to get like 400 for this thing. I mean, this thing is massive, right? Sorry about the lighting, but I don't have my phone, so I can't put a uh, light on it. But this would be a lot of work to get rid of. I think I'm better off selling that one this is going to the house. This will become my CD holder, right? Which should hold a couple thousand, I would think, at least. And then all my DVDs are going away. The books, I don't know. Every time I sell one, it's like 40 bucks. I don't know if I should hold on to them longer or not. And I've had them for quite a while. There's some good stuff in there. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I should throw them up on eBay also. I just have them on Amazon. So maybe I should throw all these up on eBay. But that's another day and a whole different story. Um, let's see. Hats. I don't do well with hats. Um, yeah. So we'll see what happens here in the next few days. Well, next few weeks. All right. Let's take those golf clubs, let's take them back to the house and see how we pack, what was it, 11? 11 golf clubs in one box and ship it for under $19, I hope. We'll see. All right, so we're back here and we have our golf clubs. It's quite a cluster of golf clubs there. Um, let me show you back here real quick. Okay, so if you're going to sell golf clubs and you're going to sell them and not get aggravated every time one sells, then you need to get two sizes of boxes. This is a 4x4x48, four by four by this one here. Let's see. Always on the other side. Okay, it's upside down, but you can figure it out. 4x4x48, four by four by right? And then the six by six by 48, which is the one we're gonna use for this pack. Now, I normally will wrap my clubs so they stay tight together, but this one's gonna be a little trickier. So let's do it this way. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, this box came damaged in two spots. One, two. All right. I think I can fix it though. All right. Let's take a look at building this up. Okay. So we want to take this one and get this set. Like I said, I think I can fix these sides. If not, I'll give up on the box and get another one. But I think I can fix them. So, six by six by 48. Remember those two sizes and you can't go wrong. Ah, that's not long enough. Okay, so for my boxes, I always put two pieces on it. One one way, one the other. That's the bottom, okay? So the damage, which is right there, right? 
Let's see if we can't magically make that disappear. see a hole anymore. I know there's a hole there, but I don't see it. Okay, flip this over. Now, you gotta watch club head sizes, right? So let's figure out, this would never fit in the four by four anyway, so you would need the six by six for this, but because I'm sending irons with this, I'm going to shove it in my little bubble wrap bag and then basically just give it, I can give it a piece of tape or we'll give it a wrap, okay? Give it a little wrap. That's a pain in the neck, but we'll do it anyway. All right. So my biggest club, it's also gonna be the longest, right? It's a driver, so it'll be the longest. Take that, slide it on down, okay? Now, that doesn't leave us too much room up top. Now, what we wanna do next is we can, I think I wanna play the game of the rest of the woods up. I just don't know how high that's gonna, let's do one more down we'll take a, a shorter one do the same thing this is the uh, uh, four hybrid okay so we'll get a wrap on that like I said I could use a piece of tape I hate using a lot of tape seems annoying I know I hate like when I get my bubble wrap and I hate when I don't pay attention and don't leave this easy to pull up okay so we'll get a wrap on this one, hold this in place. Okay, so that's wrapped, right? So we'll stick this one. This might take a little reconfiguring in the end, but we'll see. Okay, so we're getting higher and higher up the gamut here. Okay. I think it's safe to say I can do um, two up. Think we can do two up. So let's take a certain amount of irons, not too many. So we got two, we got four, six, we got seven, that includes the putter. So we got seven clubs. The putter I want up. So I'm going to do four. Four down, club head down in the box, okay. So we get four down there. And that should be working out just wonderful. And then we're gonna do three up, club head up in the box. This will balance out the box. And this way, when I drop it off the UPS store, I don't drop it myself before I even get it to the UPS store. Okay, all we have left now is a putter to put in there. So we'll get that in there. I want it up top there. And then we're going to take another, I think this, what, this is going to be a three wood probably. Let's see if I'm right. Is that a three wood? Sure it is, three wood. All right, so we're gonna put that in our bubble bag thing that I have a gazillion of. I forget where I'm, you know, I just ran into this stuff the other day, uh-oh. Um, I knew I had it, I just hadn't seen it in a while, but my purging has actually helped locate some good stuff. So, let's see, 
Okay. So one more. We just need to fit one more in there. So there's 11 clubs going in one box. We got some damage that we still have to fix. And then we shall be done. Then I will go print the label and let you know how much it costs. Because I don't know where this is going. To ship out 11 golf clubs in a 6 by 6 by 48 box. So let's get this last one in here. Somewhere. It's going to be the magical spot. Not there. That's not working. Let's go. Let's flip it around. Let's see if we can't get it down. To... I knocked you all over. Did you have a good trip? Let's get back down to business here. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. Why that box is heavy? That's one heavy box. All right, let's fix our damage. I was watching a video the other day, and they were talking about a step stool being a game changer. Okay, now if you're gonna call a step stool a game changer, you're pretty desperate for game changers. You wanna talk about a real game changer? That's a game changer. A step stool, not a game changer. Paper tape machine, game changer. Okay. Where's my damage? Where's my damage? It's all gone. All right, so let's take a look at this damn thing. Whew. All right, so we're right at the top here, and then we're going to do a little and you know I learned a lesson the other day um, I was shipping out one golf club actually it was yesterday I was shipping out one golf club to Texas so a normal shipment to Texas is like eight dollars and something right well that's on UPS, right? On UPS, that shipment for one club was $26. So I, I, I did it on eBay. So then I went to Shopify, ran it again, $26. So then I went to uh, Pirate Ship, ran it again, $26. So I knew I was fighting an uphill battle at the time. And this is 12 pounds. Right at 12 pounds. Okay. So I was fighting this uphill battle, right? And my only option to send it, which I found weird, was USPS Parcel Select for $16. So I didn't, because I charged $11.59. So the only thing I could figure is that this went to some remote location in Texas where they were going to surcharge you to death to get it there. So $16 ship a club. So be careful. Let me go print a label and we'll see how much this one costs. Okay, so that set of golf clubs right there, $17.72 shipped. Uh, I charged $19.99 for it, so we made a couple of bucks, but the box alone is a couple of bucks, so um, they were down a little bit on the shipping and the fees involved in it, all the other BS that eBay hits us with. Um, okay, so I got a lot to do before I go away in a few days. Uh, we're gonna wrap this one up. Hopefully that will help. I should probably do, because I heard uh, Philly Flipper talking about, he doesn't know much about golf clubs. Um, golf clubs are easy. There's only a few brand names to really learn. And the types of shafts, which he was having trouble with, there's only two really unless you find like hickory shaft or a pirate tone i think it's called pirate tone um but for the most part there's steel and there's graphite um and then just learning the five or six 
key names in golf and watching out for condition, especially grip condition. Grip condition, you look at like 10 to $15, put a grip on. So realistically, as a reseller, we don't want to go through that expense. But if the grip is messed up, you want to point that out in the pictures and then also in your listing saying that we'll need new grip, okay? So that being said, we'll see you next time. And that will be after my cruise most likely, so we'll see you then.